Here we have some movie summaries that have text saved in Markdown format. As you can see, it's not being rendered as HTML. Let's fix that by using the Earmark library by Dave Thomas. First, let's head to our mix file and add Earmark to our list of dependencies. Then let's fetch our dependencies. Great, now we can start up our server. Going to our project, we'll open our movie index template, and let's go to where we're rendering our markdown. In this case, our movie summary. Now there are two functions for rendering content as HTML with Earmark. Earmark.asHTML, which will return a tuple indicating if the transformation was successful or not. And Earmark.asHTML with a bang, which will return our HTML and print any error messages to standard error. Let's use this. Now if we go back to our browser, it looks like we're getting HTML, but we're seeing all of our HTML tags. One way we can fix this is to use Phoenix HTML's raw function. And now if we go back to our browser, we see everything is being rendered correctly. Now let's take this opportunity to refactor our code a bit. We'll go to our movie view, and in it, let's create a simple function we can use to transform our markdown into HTML. We'll call it as HTML with text as the parameter. In this function, we'll take text and pipe it into earmark.asHTML bang, and the result of that into the Phoenix HTML raw function. Back in our template, let's update it to call our new function with movie.summary as the argument. And if we go back to the browser, it's still working. Now, Earmark has a lot of great options to help you customize your output. For a simple example, let's see how we can swap our curly quotes for straight quotes. Going to the Earmark README, we see there's an Earmark option struct that we can use to customize our markdown, and it looks like the Smarty Pants option is set to true by default, which causes our quotes to be curly. To update this, we'll go to our movie view. First, let's alias Earmark options. Then we can pass in our options with Smarty Pants set to false. And if we go back to the browser, our curly quotes are gone. Now another cool feature of Earmark is that it can be used from the command line. Let's see how it works. First, we'll clone Earmark. Then we'll go into the library and fetch the dependencies and compile it. Now let's create a simple markdown file to test. Then we can generate an executable with eScript. Let's run mix eScript.build. Now this will create an executable. In our case, it's named Earmark. We can then run our executable with our markdown file. And great, it was transformed into HTML. I hope you enjoyed this episode and happy coding.